Big AI companies are all about one word, lock-in. They're all competing hard to make their platform your only choice. Think about it. When you use their service through their apps, your data is not really yours. It's their training data and leverage against you. Once they have you, the cost to switch is so high, you become a hostage to their subscription. If they change pricing, shut down features, or God forbid, terminate your account, you lose everything. We're doing the opposite. In 2025, AI models are like running water. Powerful models are popping out every other week, but the model alone isn't enough. Just like an engine needs a car, a model needs the right tools. Here's where we come in. We are creating a portable, model agnostic AI agent you own end to end. Hi, I'm Logan, the creator of Copilot for Obsidian, the fastest growing AI integration for Obsidian. I chose to build this on Obsidian for two key reasons, which all come down to one core philosophy. Your files should come before any app. First, Obsidian is the best markdown-centric environment, in my opinion and large language models naturally think and communicate in Markdown, so it's a perfect fit. Secondly, and more importantly, I share Obsidian's philosophy that your data should live on your device and nowhere else. This ensures that your node outlasts any single application, and you're never held hostage by any cloud services. Now, let's apply that philosophy to AI. We're seeing an explosion of AI models they're becoming a utility like water from a tap. Yet, most AI services do the opposite of file over app. They lock you into their ecosystem. When your data is in their cloud, you're not only losing ownership and privacy, they also make it difficult to switch to a competitor on purpose. This is a familiar playbook from big companies, and it's the very reason I personally switched from Notion to Obsidian three years ago. Now the critical question. What does file over app look like for AI? My answer is Copilot for Obsidian v3. It's an AI agent experience that you own where every part of the agent, its configuration, its memory, its conversations, they're all stored as plain markdown file right in your vault. And the best part is that it works with any capable model. There's no provider lock-in. This means your entire system is future-proof. When the next Frontier model is released, your agent gets an instant upgrade. With this system, you own your data, you own your agent, and you get to choose the brain that powers it. If you share this vision, we want to work with you. Today, we are announcing our partner program for creators who see the future the way we do. As a partner, you will have an influence on our roadmap. You also get a dedicated affiliate link and a revenue share from your conversions. This is a ground floor opportunity and the spots are limited. Join us now and let's build the future together. If you have never used Copilot before, you can find it in Obsidian's community plugin page. Install it here and go to Copilot settings to fill in whatever provider's API key. Open router is recommended. Uh, if you are a paid user, you can find your license key on our website's dashboard and then put it here and click apply. The quickest way to familiarize yourself with Copilot is to just go over the settings. I'm not going to spend time on all these today, but uh, I'm going to focus on plus agent mode. As you can see, we now have autonomous agent under plus settings, so you can enable it and it can reason step by step, decide which tools to use and improve the response quality. For now, the max iterations is capped at eight. In this section, you can toggle the tools individually. For example, if you don't want the agent to call the web search tool uh, autonomously, you can just toggle it off. There are also a list of built-in tools such as current time, time range, and note read. Um, you don't need to toggle them off here. They're just always on. The next section is the new memory. This is very similar to how ChatGPT's memory work. It can reference recent conversations. You can set the number of recent conversations it can see. And it can also remember things that you ask it to remember explicitly. 
Now let's put the agent to the test. Here the brain icon is on. That means the agent is on. In Copilot v3, we have this very nice chat input that is redesigned. I can proudly say this is one of the best chat input in the industry. Here I'm asking it to summarize this paper from archive and create a new note for me. It's calling the fetch tool in the background and getting the paper into context. Now it's calling the file editor. Nice. It created a new note with a summary. Accept. The new note is ready. But the H1 heading is a duplicate title, so we don't need it. Uh, let's test the file editor again. Let's ask it to remove the heading. Oh, don't forget to uh, add the target note to be edited into context, or the agent won't know what to edit. You can accept the changes individually, or you can accept globally at the bottom. Nice. Let's go over the summary. Introduction, background from strings to symbolic AGI, connection between language model production systems, case studies, actionable insights, discussion, conclusion. Looks solid. The actual paper is quite long. It's a 32-page PDF on the web. And we got this summary pretty fast. So that's good. That was done using the Copilot Plus Flash model. Let's try another model. The Rock 4 Fast from Open Router. Find my piano notes. And it's calling the Vault Search tool. Notice that it's index-free. Uh, that's because I'm using the Vault Search tool without the semantic search on. Here we have a nice sources section for every search. This way you make sure that the model is not just hallucinating, it's using your actual notes. Now let's try web search based on what we have from Vault Search. Search the web for practice tips. Recently, I've started learning piano as an adult, so this is going to be helpful. Every suggestion has an inline source. So if you want to dig deeper, just go to their sources. These are pretty high quality suggestions, I would say. My piano teacher would agree. So let's test out another model that is uh, Amazon Bedrock Sonnet 4.5. Let me show you how I added it. It's right here. The actual model name is too long, so I added this display name. Let's ask it to summarize a video I made some time ago and create a new note on its own. This is the video I made for the Copa Plus Alpha test. Uh, a while ago. Nice. Looks very detailed. Context management, vault search, PDF support, web page, image support with OCR, web search, YouTube, everything is listed here. I'm doing these tests just to show you that the Copilot agent works with any capable model. Uh, so far, we've tested three, the Copilot Plus Flash, uh, Grok 4 Fast, and uh, Bedrock Sonnet 4.5. Let's test one more, and let's add that model to Copilot now. Open Router has a lot of good models, and they even provide some for free, like this one, GLM 4.5 Air. I'm not going to use that free one because um, they have a pretty low rate limit. Adding it to Copilot, click Add Model, and put that model name, you copy it here, and just click Add because I already have the API key for Open Router. Let's ask a tag-related question. What is my most used tag in my vault? 
it knows to call the get tag list tool, which is built in. And yeah, the answer is accurate with the exact occurrences for each tag. It observes that my tags are mostly inline rather than in the front matter. Next up, let's test out the memory tool. My name's Logan. I'm the creator of Copilot for Obsidian. I'm based in Washington. Remember this. Create a brand new chat and let's see if it remembers what I said. Yes, that's right. And let's ask about the previous chat. Perfect. These are all the correct answers. As I mentioned in the beginning, everything is just markdown files. You can find your memory files under Copilot Memory by default. You can even edit it by hand if you want. Note that weaker models might make more mistakes when calling tools. So use stronger models for more complex tasks when you can. Here's a simple system I use to assess a model's intelligence per dollar. It's not the most scientific way, but it's a quick vibe check. So the way I use is to use the ELO score from Chatbot Arena and divide it by the price. So here you can see on the rightmost column, intelligence per dollar, ELO divided by dollar per 1000 tokens. If you only care about the raw intelligence ranking, just look at the ELO column. I would say anything higher than uh, Gemini 2.5 flash on ELO is a solid choice. Okay, let's wrap this up. Today I demoed the Copilot V3 model agnostic agent. The examples I showed are rather simplistic. The goal is just to show you the building blocks. After that, you can be as creative as possible when working on your own real use cases. The next big milestone is to make this core agent completely self-hosted. And then I'm gonna make the agent tools more flexible and user-defined. Something like the Claude skills. Stay tuned. I'm Logan, an AI engineer building AI extension to the mind. If you like what I do, please give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.